Well, thank you. I, I always... Well, you're very kind. I'm trying to keep sipping on this. This is a useless topic. <laughs> no, it really does. Um, all right, let me see. I wanted to tell you, 1955, we'll go to that year, back up a little bit. And I just graduated from high school. I had, had a, already, I'd been signed with Decca Records a couple of years, and uh, I had a couple of songs in the Billboard country charts. So, you know, I thought I was on my way and I was ready to break out. So my dad and my mother decided that daddy should travel with me. I was just 17. I would do a job and forget to get paid. I really would. I just enjoyed singing so much I forgot about that. So he said, I think I will go along and take care of the books for you, which he did. So the very first tour that he lined up for me by accident, we didn't know what we were doing, but nevertheless, he got a hold of Bob Neal in Memphis, Tennessee. And he said, I would like to have a girl signed because I have a young man who's really getting popular real fast. And I'd like to have a girl to put on those shows. So I'm the girl. So I found out the first day, it was a guy I'd never heard of him, Elvis Presley. <laughs> Turned out to, to be the, I guess the biggest thing the music in, industry has ever, ever had or probably ever will have. He changed music and he certainly changed uh, so many things for me, a lot of the direction of my thinking and all. He was, I don't know, he, he was such a giving person. His career was exploding around him, 1955, 56, early part of 57. I toured with him. And uh, yet he was concerned about my career. He said, you need to be singing this new kind of music. And we didn't have a name for it yet. Uh, it was just Elvis's kind of music. And so I said, well, I would love to. You know, I love your songs, but I can't do them. I'm just a country singer. He said, no, you can do them, and you need to. And he kept on and kept on, very persistent, until I said, OK, OK, I give up. And uh, in 1956, I began recording them. So you can imagine when I stood on the stage in Cleveland, Ohio, in 2009, being inducted into the Rock and Roll. Thank you. Thank you. That, that was truly awesome. It was awesome to me. I never dreamed about being in that group, but I was certainly proud. <laughs> but my heart was just really full of thanks to Elvis for giving me the, what, the push, I guess, the push that I needed to uh, get me there. And so every show I do, I like to tell that story just briefly. and and do a tribute to him, which I have a tribute album out to him called I Remember Elvis. And uh, I'm going to pick my favorite song of Elvis's was this one right here, if you would, Rod. Down at the end of Lonely 
street that heartbreak hotel where I'll be. I'll be just so lonely, baby. I'll be so lonely. I'll be so lonely. I could die. Oh, I'm coming so it's crowded. You still can find some room for broken hearted lovers to cry there in the blue. You'd be so lonely, you couldn't die. The dress clerk's dressed in black They bid so long a lonely street That they'll never, never look back And they'll make you so They'll make you so lonely, baby They'll make you so lonely You'd be so lonely You could die So if your baby leaves you You got a tale to tell Just take a walk down lonely Street Heartbreak Hotel, where you'll be. You'll be just so lonely, baby. You'll be so lonely. You'll be so lonely. You could die. Oh, it's always crowded. You still can find some room for broken hearted lovers to cry there in the gloom. You're so lonely, baby.